Welcome back. This is part two of my massive free lumber haul. All this wood here was getting thrown away. Perfectly good two by sixes between three and four feet long. And they're getting thrown away simply because they have staples and all this nylon banding on them. Which is good for me. Get all this free wood. But it's a lot of work to pull all these uh, staples and banding off. Just a couple days ago, I hauled all this wood home. It was uh, two loads in my station wagon. And tonight I started pulling staples. That's all I pulled so far. And I used uh, my homemade chisel, which is like a giant flathead screwdriver, pliers, and a hammer. I just got set up nicely, started pulling. I'm trying to contain all my staples to one area. I don't want these all over my yard. I tried stuffing these bandings into a blue bag to be recycled, but uh, just not working out very well. So I think I'm just gonna wrap these up really tightly, wrap them in tape, and then stuff them in the bag. So I don't wanna throw this away. And this is where I'm at so far. That's my pile of four foot long, pile of three foot long. I think there's a total of about 70 boards here. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's quite a bit of lumber. And keep in mind, all this wood here is gonna be split down the middle, making two boards out of one. There's some here that not the greatest shape, but. So once all this is uh, stacked, I'm gonna set up a nice little jig for myself and use my skill saw and just start splitting them. Lots of work to go yet. One thing I do need more of is this plywood here, or OSB. Got a little stack there, a little bit here. Need lots more. So I went ahead and built this jig for splitting these two by sixes down the middle. Just out of scrap wood. It's not very pretty looking, but you take your two by six. These are four feet long and it just slides right in. You got these little stoppers everywhere to hold it in place. You can take your skill saw with this jig. It's measured to split them right down the middle. This edge here rides on the board and this edge here is held in tight against this board. So as you're cutting, you don't have to worry about the board moving or coming out. 